I, I don't we're all we're all part of it right we're all part of nature to live as close to it as you can to me is one of the greatest joys you know this block alone that i grew up on there was i think 15 small dairy farms that supported 15 families and there's none left they're all gone we have seen a lot of our young people leave and there's a loss that happens because the career opportunities are not here. We are at a pivotal point in the sense of maintaining the culture of a rural lifestyle while at the same time dealing with the technological changes that are occurring in the world. The only constant in life is change. And if it's gonna happen, and if it's positive change, you, you have to endorse it, you really do. We have a lot of open land that's not in use. We have economies that are struggling. So New York says, well, listen, this, we can build our economies by building these projects. I mean, if you get wind like we have it here, why not use it? It's 24 hours a day, blows all night long, blows all day long. And if you're in farming, it doesn't disrupt your farm, doesn't affect the wild animals, doesn't affect your farm animals, doesn't affect you. The feed price is going up. I mean, it's really tough. So if you can get a turbine or two on your property, on your farmland, that'll help to offset the expenses to keep your farmland growing. And we all got to eat. It's not traditional farming, but we're still going to be able to farm it. We're going to farm pollinators. We're going to farm electricity. So it still gets to stay undeveloped. It, it's actually going to open up a retirement for me and my wife. So it's a money saver and at the same time it's a huge bonus for the environment it's a win-win situation so the transformational change that has happened as we've seen renewable energy gaining a larger presence in northern new york is that it provides job opportunities for those individuals who want to stay in this area i grew up here and a lot of our technicians are all local guys too so it's created a lot of good, stable jobs for a lot of guys and, and girls, too. Our, our town uh, elected officials have been very wise about spending the income that they're receiving from these projects, and they've done a lot with it and a lot of good things with it. AES provided us a grant so that we can put in a solar array for our students to have hands-on experience with sustainable energy. This was, a, this was a huge win for us. They didn't just tell me they wanted to be good citizens. They put their money where their mouth was and, and they donated that money. And our training director has ordered state-of-the-art test equipment for solar. So, you know, our apprentices are going to be trained and our journeymen are going to be trained to use the latest and greatest test equipment for the solar. That's great to help them sustain their career and earn a good living. While this gentleman showed up, and he introduced himself as Eric Will and what company was for, AES. And he said, what do you need? I said, well, our copier is obsolete. Our computers are no longer up to date. So from there he said, well, we'd like to make a donation. You know, you wonder if it's really true. I think these renewable projects can be a part of that whole hope we have for for the North Country because we're we're getting smaller by the day. The size of the projects coming, the ones that are over 100 megawatts, it's, it's really exciting. I see it as an investing in our future in this community because we are educating our future workforce. So they've got a company that's committed to the future and you know there again wind technology is going to improve all the time. We're, we're pushing for a repower here. The towers are getting older. With the repower the towers will run better, it, you know, people will be able to stay where they want to be and, and have good jobs working on clean power. It's just getting started. Having this guaranteed stream of income for the next two to four decades is huge. And I still have my land. I want to leave something, you know, and I, I want to leave the land better than when I got it.